Welcome back, everybody, to That Animated Podcast. Hey, do I laugh too much? What do you mean? This is a comedy podcast. Of course you can laugh yeah, as do, much as you want. Do I laugh too much? Because, you know, I've been thinking lately, and, like, sometimes I think I laugh so much at something that it, like, becomes awkward. It's like, it, it, that wasn't even funny. Why are you laughing? <laughs> like, I got, I like literally... Like, everyone's around you just like, uh, what? I got made fun of for how much I remember in volleyball one year in like junior high, some guys were like mimicking my laugh because I was just like laughing too much. I just thought they were being funny and it literally killed my mood and then I felt bad. <laughs> what do you mean? What were they doing that was so funny? They were, I don't even remember. They were just like joking around and being funny and I was laughing a lot and then they started to mock me laughing. Maybe you just thought it was too funny. Oh, no. Why did the chicken cross the road? (laughs) See? (laughs) I didn't even get to the punchline. I'm laughing because it's such a, you just like, you broke it down so simple. Like the fucking chicken joke. That's why I laughed. I laugh at things that like are just dumb. I'm laughing because it's dumb. Would you laugh if the, uh, like that, the thing hit the corner? The little, Why guys, would I laugh at that? Those of you who are watching the uh, video, we have a little bouncy thing. Like, like the, the DVD old, logo. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap, it just went rainbow. That's a we random thing. We got thing. a rare holographic shiny. Yeah. Wow, you guys are missing out if you're not watching the visuals. Yeah, sorry, audio only. Sorry, people that are freaking driving ha ha. home. Watch you're the not road. watching this? Huh. Loser. Don't look over at the rabid peach on the screen. Oh, yeah. You guys see that? Oh, that's, yeah. that's We're going to be adding more speed drawings. That's a new speed drawing. Yeah. And then we'll post the shorts later. Oh, that one hit the corner. Wow. Oh. I missed it. Yeah. Was it funny? Um, No. Oh. I don't think. Okay, listen. It's usually got to be something that subverts. Is that the right word? Subverts? My expectations, but in like a really simple, like, oh my God, you like deconstructed it way. Like, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> Literally, You don't yes. even know why. You're just laughing. It's just like, <laughs> why do we have to go all the, that's like caveman unga bunga. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still funny. You can't even get to the punchline. You see, that's what makes me like Cosmo. Remember that episode where she was like, Cosmo laughs at anything, though. See? Pudding. (laughs) (laughs) I'm Cosmo. I literally had people and friends do that to me all the time because I laugh so much. They they would just say pudding and I would laugh. Probably partly for their expectation. Like there's, of course, you know, sometimes you got to force laugh so things aren't awkward. Oh, I'll okay. definitely be you that say type you of laugh person. at anything, but then you have moments where you force the laughter. Well, <laughs> so you don't laugh at anything. No, actually not. OK, listen, 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 listen. It's not like actually forced because that's also a horror thought. If you think about it, like this person doesn't really think I'm funny. They're just laughing out of pity. <laughs> Those oh, are the kind of fears I have. Like every time one of our friends, every time she laughs. As something I did <laughs> or said. I'm like, does she really think I'm funny? Does she really think that? Or she just be nice to me to boost and fluff up my little ego. But I is mean, that overthinking it? Am I overthinking if that? If you laugh at anything and yeah. you think it's actually funny, then yeah. why are you doubting other people thinking it's funny? I say I, I overthink everything. There you go. Fault. See, if if you find something hilarious and you're like, I think it's funny, but am I annoying? And then other people laugh at anything you say. I mean, just think about the logic there. You're assuming that they're not going to think something is funny because they're laughing, even though you think everything's funny that you laugh at. The thing is, I don't think everything is funny, but I'm like, I get picked on like that wasn't even funny. Maybe you're just like but it, social like, anxiety is kicking in. You're just like, why did the chicken cross? on? <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! You scared me. See, that's that's what you do to other people when they're like in the middle of their joke and you're laughing. That's another thing. I'm also really easy to scare. <laughs> I'm also really easy to trick, guys. I think I'm just like dim. No, you're I'm, not. I'm dim witted. No. Oh, 
I got uh, my head up in the clouds. It's, it's a balancing out thing. There are a lot of things that I can't do without you, like this <gasps> podcast. What? What do you think I'm going to do? Sit here and go, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a whole episode mm-hmm. with just you <laughs> and yeah. no me and you. I'm just going, just, yeah. like hallucinating. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's right, Emmy. Uh-huh. That's That'd the be kind of freaky. Let's yeah. start. We'd start an ARG that way. <laughs> yeah, the disappearance of Emmy. Oh man, that there's an anime like that. The dear, the disappearance of blank. Yeah, they did that with Miku too. There was the disappearance of Miku. There's All a the song coons. based on a real event. Miku was almost gone forever. Listen, the rumors would run wild if you ever went missing. The rumors. The rumors. John Toyd is a toxic couple. Says me. Says freaking it. That's the hearsay, at least. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had roommates once that tried to convince us we were in a toxic relationship, and that that well, went south. <laughs> look at look at us now. Yeah, I look at you lovingly. Don't have to worry about people who don't support your relationships. Cut them. <laughs> yeah, get them out of that Gross. life. Don't need you. You don't got to put up with people who think they know how you should live. Yeah, you live your own life. <laughs> Exactly. You know, I thought about this. The people who are audio only, sometimes you just meow. And I'm like, I wonder oh my what gosh, that's like yeah, that for probably them. sounds unhinged. I'm just messing with my little like uh avatar that we have or VTuber model. What do we call ours? Like homunculus PNG tubers. Yeah. It's just like my mouth flaps, goes meh, meh, meh. So whenever I meow, it's like I look Saying like I'm going this- meow. As if we don't actually look like this and we're not actually sitting here and this isn't an actual recording of us. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, um, if you are like an audio listener, we are on podcast platforms now. Woohoo! So you, you, you guys I, have been requesting it. Yeah, we're on Spotify, but audio only. I, we'll, we'll get to video for them. Their process is different. But Apple took our RSS feed for videos. So if you want video like on a podcasting platform. That's the only one aside from our website right now, but our website is not quite ready. Joptoid.com. Yeah, it's pretty janky. It's not the most put together yet, but we're working on it. Um, Joptoid.com slash fun. Yeah. We were gone for the past week because we're working on stuff like this, like the back end stuff. Also mental health. You always got to You got to work on your mental and emotional well being exactly meow meow and sometimes that means we can't be here and sometimes that means we trash the room and roll around on the floor yeah the room honestly i started i i wanted to trash it a long time ago but i couldn't trash it because i was still learning 3d yeah and it's not like that's the hardest thing to do in 3d is move like little things around move things around but composition was something i was learning more about so i wanted to like make sure that I was like doing things in a way that made the environment look more natural while busted, but in a 3d space Uh because it it is a little different from the 2d space that we're used to working with. Especially because you get more angles. Yeah. You, you kind of fake the depth when you have it here. You actually have the depth and that's a, that's very different for me. I'm not used to having the third axis to work with. I'm used to just kind of emulating that and then like having like a mental, note of like what the perspective is if you guys know anything about traditional art we talked about art like in a few previous episodes somewhere back there there is a um a thing that you learn when you're doing like a lot of perspective work that there is these points called vanishing points oh yeah and if you work with vanishing points it's how you get like a 3d environment to look really 3d and 2d but it's it's uh it's like the math of it almost. Yeah, that's how I did the old instead set. of just winging it. Yeah, I did the like whole perspective instead of the like actual 3D. So it, if you go back and look, like everything you can trace back to one point, but it's like really far off the canvas. I don't know why Try I to chose find the vanishing. I chose point. a really terrible vanishing point, but it worked. It made it look like a really top down angle. That's kind of cool, though. A little, yeah. a little video gamey, a little isometric. But this one is like definitely like a camera. More front facing. Yeah, like 
in the 3D space, like the camera's like right in here. I wonder what's on the other side of that wall that you guys are sitting against. I don't know. It's it's uh it's a room. I wonder what's wonder what's what's the perspective. You know, yeah. like Blues Clues when you were watching Blues Clues. What was what was on the other what side? What was on of the, the house? other side? You know, yeah, what did the front door look like? See, no, you could see the front door, but oh, no, you know, from mean, the like, other you, side, if I'm inside you know, the house. I think they actually did show it once when Steve was leaving huh. and he was going to college. That's funny. I never thought about how it was just like a never strip and you never saw the opposite side of the house. I would think about that. Just like when I thought uh, from Powerpuff Girls, I would be able to see um, Miss Bellum. Wait, yeah, Bellum? Yeah. Her name is Bellum. Is Bellum? You're talking about the secretary, right? Yeah. yeah. Am I getting her name wrong? I don't think Ms. so. Bellum. I thought or was you that could... the teacher? No, no, no. That was Pokey Oaks. That was Miss Keen. Oh, then yeah. Okay, yeah. Miss Bellum. I thought that I would be able to see her face if we got a taller TV. And then oh, eventually no. we did get a bigger TV. And I was so excited to finally see her face. <laughs> oh, no. And you thought it was just your TV? Yeah. Oh I was like, man, gosh. why is she always cut off? That's how they animated it. I was little. I like how they did it in Cow and Chicken, where when they showed the top half <laughs> of the parents, it was just... They just didn't They were have just a legs. Top. Yeah. Just walking legs. Yeah, they were just legs the whole time. That's hilarious. That's yeah, way that's better than, that's like, that's revealing that's the actual parents, because that's it just... They don't that's break that's the, that's like ambiguousness of the characters while also like actually revealing them. They're just legs. Yeah. They actually like ca canonically they are just legs. I wonder why we did that. Oh, it's just because we're little and that's the perspective that we yeah. get. Yeah. Do you guys, I have a problem with not being able to finish my sentences because I think of something else before I finish talking. Um, my, my thoughts and my brain is working way too fast, faster than my mouth can uh, Speak? keep up with yeah i think that's an adhd problem actually could be i think i looked that up i'm like why do i do this it's so hard to talk i'd rather just think <laughs> it's uh, i mean i'd rather just shoot the thoughts into people's brains but if they're not used to the we're fast doing that thoughts, right then, now you I just mean, when you talk you're just unleashing your mind that's it you're just verbalizing your thoughts. You just, Some people can't have you those thoughts, You just judge though. your thoughts for being incoherent because they don't come out as words as often as you'd like them to. Like, you need some, like, mental work going on before you speak. If you just speak your mind without thinking, you'll just say something stupid. I'm very impulsive like, like that, meow. though. And, and then I talk over you, like, meow, see? <laughs> thoughtless think thoughtless speech Thought, thoughtless speech yeah. yeah or maybe too much thought too much thought that you like already forgot by the time you go to talk it speak it are we seriously having a podcast episode about talking oh we're talking about talking oh. right now yeah guys I, I guess why do you watch this <laughs> we ask them are, that every are they being held hostage Bum. to listen to this are you stuck Bum, in your every car again episode you're like why why are you here you're gonna chase them away dog hey listen at least we acknowledge them hey listen are you navi navi some people say navi some people say navi what do you say uh i don't know i actually never really verbalized the name of anything when I was younger. You don't really do that. You wouldn't even really do that with cat names. Well, it's more so like... Or why cat? Just would, animal names in general. You don't like saying the animal's name. Well, I type a lot of like things with games, so I'll verbalize them in my head. Like, I do that a lot with RuneScape. The There's a lot of... I mean, if you guys have played that game, you guys know there's what, really RuneScape? weird names for everything. Like... There is no, like, word for the names of some cities. They're made up. So everyone has their own pronunciation. And when I started actually, like, talking to people like about Ardugan. RuneScape. Yeah, like, everyone pronounces it differently. I don't Ardugany. Even, I don't even know what I said before. I, I started verbalizing it to friends. Arceus. I think Ar I just Arceus. called it the thieving town. <laughs> uh, what were the other ones? Hi... What's what's the one that starts with an H? That Hosidious. you use the book Hosidious, yeah, yeah. 
And then, like, as you get into the later places that they added, we're talking about old school RuneScape also. I think people know. There's no such thing as uh, there's, RuneScape 3. There's a... There's a I don't That's know a how to pronounce island. that. That's I a still new don't island. know how to pronounce that. And then there's this place that looks like it's spelled like butt hurt. So that's what I call it. Birth pole. Bur- I, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it either. Butt hurt. It's called butt hurt. I'm going to butt hurt. It's just my north Slayer of Tavernly. Is, it, yeah. is that really called Tavernly too? Is that is that right? I mean, it, it's it. I don't see another way of pronouncing it. Someone can probably correct me if there is, but that's what I say. There's not a lot to do there, so I don't hear a lot of people say it. The difference is in pronouncing things from games, and then someone else says it, and then you're like, wait. Have I been pronouncing that wrong? Is that wrong? Like some people pronounce, uh, what is it? Um, in Pokemon, I pronounced Rattata, Rattatat. Rattatat! Until I heard Me too! Someone else say it. And I'm like, wait, did I, did I just read that wrong? And then I, I went back and looked at the card and went, oh. Rattatat! I'm wrong. Because that's how it fucking says it in the show, in the anime. From like Gen, Gen 1 anime, original anime. I'm almost positive that it sounded like it was saying Rattatat! Maybe, maybe we just heard the T at the end. Rattatat! Maybe. I... And, I, and there's also abruptly. a high chance that the voice actor just didn't do it right. Yeah. They mispronounced it too. I also, it's, I it's thought like Arbok the, um, was called Jarbok. Because that's how oh it my fucking God, that's true. said its name. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of people mistake this for the Mandela effect, but the Berenstain what? Bears. The Berenstain Bears. Because there was a, literally a show where it sounds like they're saying the Berenstain Bear or Berenstain. It's literally. It's ambiguous. It's, no, listen, it's just the twang in her yeah. voice from the opening. That's why we think it's called that. I get the so bears. mad when people are doing like, we're going to do a deep dive into the Mandela effect. Like, the no. The Berenstain Bears. Did you guys remember? Did you guys see this? Mm. And it's just like, that's like the only example where I it literally just seems like you can trace how it's like misunderstood. Like it's not like the cornucopia me. on the Only Fruit of the Loom where it was never friends. there, but Stay everyone remembers like something that was just straight up missing, not misremembering. That cornucopia something. was there. I promise you it was there. I, I feel I gaslit at this it. point. I don't know. I know for a fact it was there and they're just trying to make us forget. What if it wasn't? It fucking was. There's literally space for it. It was. <laughs> Who knows, honestly? Just like I thought that there was an episode of the Rugrats where the uh, parents finally could hear the babies talk. You thought that was a real episode? Yeah, I think I just dreamt it. But for the longest time, I thought it was real. Like they were just in like their normal house. It wasn't a movie or anything. Maybe and it was like a one of those like they were dreaming and they were talking to their parents. Maybe I don't know. That's uh, Rugrats is so unsettling. Oh yeah, we it, talked about that. It is like, not a show that I want to go back and watch. I'll just remember it. The style is ugly as hell. I won't lie. Like that whole as told by Ginger. It looks uh, ah real monsters. It's ugly, but I like it for that reason. It's because, because it's, it's in so motion. It, it, if you saw stills, I think you would hate it entirely. But it, it in things in motion that don't look correct still look better than something that is are like anatomy is like perfect, but still, you know, does that make sense? Am I explaining that right? Yes. Like just things in motion can look uncanny. Like if when they people look grab wrong. random like frames from the middle of something that was like moving or lunging yeah I'm like damn this shit's ugly yeah. put two hawk two let me put it this way yeah there was a lot of love put into it for animation sure. is something that is extremely difficult to do so even crappy animations end up selling really well when it comes to people's enjoyability of it because seeing something in motion that doesn't deserve to be in motion is like Damn. uncanny. When I say that, doesn't I mean like deserve. doesn't deserve is in you don't like deserve a studio motion. would just go like, that art's terrible. I wouldn't put that in motion. But then somebody would just like, oh, I'll do it. To the paper. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not like an insult. Like it, a lot of people like to put like a 10 out of 10 art piece in motion and they forget that 
it's re- actually really easy to stand out if you just do like a two out of a 10 art piece and put that in motion. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like yeah. I've seen some really good pieces from people who have like art styles that are really the bad. Frickin think about the stick figure fight videos or stick figure versus animator that and all too. that stuff. I would say that's a little different. That's not like that's simplistic. What I'm referring to is like Rugrats where like heads don't look like melting <laughs> blobs, but they did it anyway. Yeah. What was up with the shape of Tommy's head? I don't know. He had a, I, he had a weird bulbous that, that and artist, dip head. All of their stuff looked weird in motion. I saw oh a uh, screenshot from uh not a screenshot. I like, I don't know. It was a clip from Rocket Power. Rocket. Oh the, yeah, that was another one of theirs. The dad's head is so weird. It's like a fucking. Why does his head look like that? <laughs> it's like a a foot. <laughs> I don't understand. Imagine going up to some. Why is your head like that? Why? It's like a why foot. Why is your head <laughs> fucking like that? <laughs> oh God. You remember uh, Tito? Yeah, I remember Tito. What's that? That was one of the characters that they liked. He was a surfer dude that worked at. I barely remember that show. Down, 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 down. There was a kid named Squid. There was a kid named Twister. There was, I don't remember the main kid's name. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's one of those shows that I feel like I watched a lot, but I don't remember any of it. It's like Camp Laszlo. When, what? when we rewatched that, I Pizza realized French fry. I realized I remembered every single episode. Yeah, but it's, every it's time stored in there somewhere. Someone would explain a scene to me. I'd be like, I don't remember that. At oh, all. you know what it is? Is that you left those shows like on in the background. So it's but, like just no, kind of floating around I did in watch your head. Them because I, I remember like all of it, not just like kind of. I remember all of the details like. I definitely watched these shows, but yeah. I don't remember. Like, they didn't stick What with about me. My Gym Partner is a Monkey? Oh, I didn't watch that. Aw. Monkey, that monkey, was monkey. The, that was the era of Cartoon Network where I, like, dipped out. I, I felt too old. Ugh. No, not in, like, a, oh, I'm too old for this, but, like, a, I don't relate to this anymore. What? Ugh. What? Everybody oh, goes through good. that. The, oh, my gosh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm joking because when I got older, I was like, man, I can't watch cartoons anymore. I have to start wa- watching. I have to start watching the facts of life. That's that not show. true. That's bullshit. <laughs> what, what ends up happening is they end up making mature programming for you as you grow up. It's not the other way around where you need to adopt the like mature content of the current generation. Do you think I stopped watching SpongeBob? No, everyone's I'm sure everyone our age, if they watched SpongeBob as a kid, they wouldn't be opposed to like something SpongeBob, you know? They'd be like, Oh, that's interesting. They'd be like, Oh, you watch cartoons? <laughs> and they'd be like, Oh yeah, I remember SpongeBob. I used yeah. to think that that would be the reaction I get from my peers. When I'm like, yeah, I still have a favorite Pokemon. Like, huh, yeah, no you shit. still like Pokemon? No, they were all like, <gasps> dude, I, I still love Pikachu. But I never who's stopped. Your, who's your favorite right now? What do you mean right now? Huh? Well, because your favorite Pokemon changes. I Because I don't pick favorites. I just have like well, no. preferences. Squirtle used to be your favorite. Yeah, because people would ask, what's your favorite? That would be my default. And you drew pictures of Squirtle a lot. I got you so many Squirtle listen, things. It that was part of building our relationship. Listen, was like, oh my god, your favorite no, Pokemon is Squirtle, and then so no. I would get you Squirtle. And it was specifically the Squirtle Squad with the glasses it with the triangle glasses. It doesn't mean that those things stop meaning something. It just means like I got you those glasses. Oh my gosh! And they they You're were like apparently- Woody with Andy. Gosh, what? I don't want to play with you anymore. No. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. I literally I'm feel that way. Anymore. Yes. <laughs> I literally, yes, I embody <laughs> that clip. I, I feel that way for a lot of people. <laughs> I feel people? rejection very easily. Oh rejection God. and unwantedness. Dear God. The dear God? Yeah. You mean the, the dear God from uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion? That's like, no, that was a demon. Yeah, but it's called Dear God. It's called uh, D- Dear Lord. Dear Demon, no. No, I like him. Do people like address deers like cute. Dear Demon? Dear 
demon. Today, demon. I wish everyone goes to hell. The end. You know, I have the funniest, um, like, <laughs> parallel to draw. And once you see it, you're not going to unsee it. Okay. So the earlier seasons of South Park. What? They How totally are we going to the South Park? We're using, okay. All right. Let me fast forward to a show that oh, okay. I'm paralleling it to. All right. My Little Pony oh, okay. and South Park have one thing in common. Where is this going? The Dear Princess Celestia thing Dear is Princess the exact Celestia. same thing as, you know, guys, I learned something today in uh, South Park. Oh, you're talking about like Kyle? Yes, or or any of the characters. At the end of like, especially the early seasons, they would end every episode with, you know, guys, I learned something today because oh it was God. supposed to be like a group of kids learning shit. So it, they summarize the episodes that oh. way in the same way that, my Little Pony does with oh. Dear Princess Celestia. Today, it's it's the same thing. They they might not even like have attempted to do that, but yeah. the parallels are like the same. It's the same thing. Think I about guess that. You're, I guess you're, you know, yeah, wow. Hmm. So which of the South Park characters are which of the ponies? Oh, I I'm, think I'm Kyle sure is, DeviantArt has already have this. I think not Kyle only is covered, Twilight Sparkle. Oh my gosh. No, I DeviantArt think, has this covered. I mean, just go Google it. I th- I'm sure they do. I bet you're actually right. I bet you're right, though. Look up South Park ponies on DeviantArt. I'm I sure don't know. Actually, I actually don't know if I want to look that up. on. I don't really want to look up anything on DeviantArt, to Inflation. be honest. Because, like, you'll click on, like, join DeviantArt, and they'll show, like, art on the left side of the uh, the form to sign up. I don't know what the percentage is of this, but there is a chance... And it's a very high chance that you'll see some weird, freaky inflation porn on the side. That is normal. That's like, that was always normal. Like you Google your, you, you, go, you search your favorite character on DeviantArt in 2012. It's inflation. They're inflated and blue. Yeah. People did that with our characters. Yeah. Did you guys know that like early on in our animations, especially like with Girl Gamer, uh, there was just... There was a few dedicated people to uh, inflating them and making them blue. In fact, I think it went it went as far as making inflatable 3D models. I remember seeing that because uh, I used to search DeviantArt that. a lot just w- to see if people models? were drawing stuff. Yeah. We should drop them into the set. Um, no. <laughs> um, I'd rather die, actually. <laughs> um, actually, I'd rather fucking die. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was gonna say DeviantArt. Uh, you find the weirdest, the weirdest specific fetishes there with entire galleries dedicated to it. For example, inflated kneecaps, specifically on oh, anime yeah. girls. That was a weird one. There's a lot of oh man. Yeah, There's I'll a shame lot of you. Weirdos on it's DeviantArt. weird. I'm, I'll shame you. But, uh, weirdos uh, thrive on being shamed anyway. I so. think so. I think they like it. They, I, they must. There's a there's a significant group of people on DeviantArt who actually enjoy the negative attention they get when they do something that weirds people out. They, they get the a thrill. thrill off of it. And they, they pretend like they hate it at the same time. They're like, oh, no, no, oh, man. Someone tried to do this on Tumblr to us once. Oh, and yeah. I will not acknowledge what they try to do because <laughs> I am not feeding into that. But they tried to, they, they printed out pictures of us and did something really embarrassing uh-huh. with us, with like a picture of us next to him. Like, oh, uh-huh. oh no, no one well, shamed me. Weird. And yeah, they wanted us to repost it. Please don't tell anybody. Please don't show anybody. Yeah. And we just left that shit in there. We, like, we all right. It, like, all right. Uh, okay. You're just trying to provoke us to shaming you because you like this. You're you're gonna get off to Little it. Little freak. Oh my god. People are weird. nasty online. Yeah. You think that won't come back and bite you? It will. Don't like you don't you don't think about uh the the future. Hindsight's 2020. I don't think they care. I don't. Like maybe they might regret it, but I don't think they care. Is that if, depression? I don't think that's depression. <laughs> Makes me wonder like damn, they just don't give a shit, huh? You don't give a no. shit what you post online. You're going to show your your uh your your <laughs> I don't know. Let, I'm, let, you let's know, not, I'm gonna stop. Let's not go too deep Actually, into the psyche I of it. I don't think I want to go into this conversation. I yeah. think I'd, I'd just rather like leave. Yeah, let's just let's leave. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you know that the um, 
Rugrats' parents were canonically like in their 20s. 20s? Yes. They were also 20s. like wrinkly. I'm looking this up. I'm going to make sure I'm not 20s? just like talking shit. How old were the Rugrats? I mean, like, I could see 30s maybe, but 20s? Okay, yeah, I'm just talking out my ass, I guess. Oh. Somebody, I swear to God, somebody said that. Well, then what is what is it? Then? Okay, yeah, they're in their thirties. Yeah, that, see, Early that made, 30s. that's more reasonable. I would say like somebody gaslit me once. I swear. What Rugrats characters look like as real people, and it's Dee Dee is just like woman <laughs> oh with God. red curly I, hair. I love when people interpret characters in in different styles because they always do it wrong. Every oh. time they will change like something extremely dramatic about the character, like the hairstyle. Sometimes it will change the color of their hair entirely and the style. And then they'll make them shorter and then a different race. Oh. And then suddenly it's not, it's just an OC. Just call it an OC at that point. Very pregnant DD Pickles. Okay. Emmy, you, Emmy, see, I told you Why to get off the inflation. I got distracted. You can't you can't get me on anything other than what I'm already looking at when we start recording. Because the second <laughs> my focus leaves what I'm looking at, I'm just I'm gone. I'm like floating through space. What inflation? <laughs> oh. I did not look up inflation. But then why are you looking at it? First of all, <laughs> it was pregnant Dee Dee and she was canonically pregnant in the in the show in the movie with dill pickles Damn, okay canonic inflation no Woo! Ah! representation let's oh. get inflation shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up <laughs> shut up <laughs> is this episode over <laughs> is it over okay we're done torturing you guys I've had enough <laughs> oh boy. Is that is that what we ended up talking about today? Yeah. We ended up talking about for a good 30 minutes too. Oh. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, oh my god.